So today is Monday, June 14th. I'm planning on going on a quick little hike. It's a, a waterfall that's tucked away in McLean, Virginia. It's called Scott's Run. It's been a pretty busy Monday and I figure, you know, the weather's nice outside. It's about actually 86 degrees right now. So I figure why not go on a quick hike, um, go to the waterfall, cool down, set up the hammock and just relax for a little bit. But instead of taking the van or the Jeep, I figure, you know, bring the shadow out. She is all packed right now. And again, it's just gonna be a quick little hike. I think a total of two miles, I believe. It's not too long, so what I did was, obviously I'm wearing my riding boots right now, and of course, a t-shirt underneath, which I'll be changing into later. I just brought my backpack with um, my hiking shoes in it, um, a change of clothes, um, and a pair of swimwear, so I can just put that on once I get to the waterfall, and then maybe cool down for a bit. Who knows i really hope it's not too busy because this place tends to get busy a lot of the locals here in northern virginia they like to go there it's good to start off the week you know it's always um better in my opinion to especially after a long day right to just get away for a little bit do something that you enjoy in this case which is riding and going on a hike um so i'm looking forward to it i'll keep you guys with me as i go along enjoy the vid and for those of you who are wondering what type of bike I have, this is just one of them. Um, I have a Ducati Monster and this, her name is Big Bertha. It's a 1997 VT1100, um, or as known as the Shadow 1100. I mean, this thing is a couch, man. The reason I bought this is because I do a ton of long riding and I figure I can always have somebody in the back that I can cruise with. Um, but for today, she's all packed. And usually the saddlebags are here, but I took them off just because they look a little clunky. We don't need it for around town, only if I go on long rides, but I got super lucky on this bike and it's still running pretty strong. I mean, it's only got about 15, let me double check, about 16,000 miles, which isn't too much for a Honda in my opinion, so. filling her up right before we go she was running pretty low I like to fill up um, every 100 miles she was about at 91 miles and with these old bikes man you never know um, it's just safe to assume that you should get fuel as soon as it hits that 100 mile mark at least for me but I do have to reset the spin or odometer every time I do it which is pretty simple, you just clock it back. And there you go. But yeah, she's all packed. I just hope we don't run into much traffic. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm already sweating. Uh, <laughs> it is about 86 degrees, so it should be a fun ride. All right, cheers.
I just got to Scott's Run. The traffic wasn't too bad, but we are here. So the best thing about riding is you don't have to worry about parking too much. You can just pick a spot, pull in. As long as your bike fits, we are good to go. So there she is. I just unpacked everything. Um, probably going to just change into a t-shirt that I'm wearing underneath this. And then boots, obviously. Need to change that. Brought my sneakers. Um, and hopefully it's not too crowded. It seems like a ton of people are leaving right now, which is always good. Um, but I'll keep you all posted. We are on our way. Um, it doesn't look too crowded right now. So I hope it's not bad once I get there. It's going to take me about 20 to 30 minutes for me to get to the spot, but we're just going to hike along. Um, the sun's going down, so we might just catch the sunset. We'll see though. The park is supposed to close when it gets dark, so I'm actually in a rush hiking over there. Um, but it's actually a pretty nice hike. It's a very, very easy um, hike. There's not a lot of up or down hills. You go right along the creek, um, which goes into the river over there. But every spot you go to is going to be wet. I did change into my sneakers, but I never took my pants off just because I figure it's not too hot anymore. The sun's going down. We shouldn't have a problem. Um, and obviously I had to change my GoPro to low light or standard mode just because the 4K cinematic isn't going to be catching anything. I tried shooting that earlier. It looks like complete doo-doo. <laughs> so, but I'm excited for it. <clears throat> We're going to get there in a few. I'll keep you all posted. So I have yet to bring my dog here. I feel like my dog would have a blast just because he loves the water. If you guys haven't seen the Outer Banks video, definitely check it out because you can see what I mean when I say Sherman loves the water. He just goes crazy whenever he's next to the water. So I'll attach it or I'll link it at the end of the video. You can check it out if you want to. Just saying, man, I think he'll really love this hike. Obviously, I can't bring him along just because <laughs> I'm riding and there's no way a 90 pound lab will get behind a bike <laughs> or two up. So I'm going to pop in off the trail into a little nook here. And this is what I mean when I say you go down the stream towards the river. It's just everywhere you go, there's water, which is awesome. The best part about this is you don't have to take the main trail, which is up there. You can, you know, during the summer, if it's a hot day, you can just go barefoot down the stream, which is what I used to do as a kid growing up. And the water's pretty clean too. You'd be surprised. But I do know that lately, a lot of people or a lot of folks in the area, they've been coming here and been leaving trash a lot. So who knows when I get there, it might be dirty. Sometimes during the summer, people would say they're going to Scott's Run, but before they get to the waterfall, they might just pop out to one of these spots here, have a picnic, tan, sunbathe, whatever you got to do. Because you can find little beachy spots like that almost anywhere on the trail, which is neat. You just got to get across the river or the water, I'm sorry. And you'll get to the spot. Another one of these pass-throughs. They're pretty fun, to be honest. Oh. Hi. How's it going? Just friendly people on the trail saying what's up. That's what it's all about, man. I'll tell you what. Whenever I hike, have I yet seen an individual or a person be grumpy, right? Every time you go past them, it's usually like, hey, how are you? What's going on? Have a good hike. Which is why I just love being outdoors. Um, just because... You know, it doesn't cost you much. It doesn't cost you anything at all, except the gas that you have to pay for to get here. I just think being outdoors is a good way to de-stress from 
your day-to-day -day lives and activities. I'm just going up this hill. It's a pretty steep hill, which is why I sound like I'm out of breath. So it is currently 7.45 p.m. If you can't tell, it's pretty dark in here. But we are approaching the Falls Inn. I just came up that hill. All you gotta do now is go down. Man, I can't wait to just dip in the water for a bit. It seems like it is pretty busy here. There's still a few folks that are hanging out, but I'm walking my way up so we can look over the waterfall. down there swimming but I'm just trying to make my way over there maybe set up my hammock somewhere up there and then just go dip in the water real quick we'll see if I can find a good spot to set up a hammock but we made it all right so I think I found a pretty good spot um, got a tree right there and one right there so I'm probably just gonna put the hammock in between that which kind of overlooks the waterfall this is towards the back of the fall and now you got the fall right over there so after setting up the hammock i'll probably just hang here for a little bit change and then get in the water and go about my business and hang out before it gets dark here so all right the hammock is all set up pretty stoked for the spot so the view goes all the way down there to where the waterfall is. Not a lot of people are near where I'm picking the spot at, so that's a big plus. You just don't want, I don't know, at least for me, I just don't want too many people around me. And this is a vibe right here now. I can just sit here all day. The problem is, like I said, it gets super busy. Um, if you come during the daytime, or especially during the weekend, and with COVID, you know, everybody's trying to be out and about just because it's kind of hard to do things inside. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you guys are ever in the you know, Northern Virginia area um, and you want to do a quick hike right next, next to the Potomac, which is over there, um, that's the river. Definitely come check out Scott's Run in McLean, Virginia. And hopefully it's not too crowded and you guys can enjoy the favorite local spot here. So here's the waterfall close up. It's not too big of a waterfall, but the Potomac River goes all the way over there. I don't think the water's too cold. I'm just gonna pop in, change a little bit, see where it takes me. Water's surprisingly warm, man. I thought it was gonna be a lot colder than I expected to be, but it's not too bad. If you look up, my hammock is right up there. That's all good. All right, time to make my way back up. To the hammock. Here's the view from the top. So we're at the top of the waterfall here. Barefoot is the only way to do it, FYI. But a lot of people would just camp out over there 
have a little picnic and enjoy themselves during the summer. And we're back to our Eno. Hell yeah. It's not too bad of a climb. It's honestly fun. I grew up just climbing on these rocks as a kid. Believe it or not. Why pack heavy when you can just use your shirt to dry out? You know, I was honestly surprised that it was this busy for Monday. I was hoping that you weren't gonna have a ton of people here um, at Scott's Run, but for Monday, it's fairly busy, not gonna lie. Although, I did find a pretty good spot where I'm just hanging out on a hammock. But you know, guys, for a Monday, this really isn't too bad. If you think about it, you know, you start off your Monday, you're working, you know, nine to five sometimes, after hours, whatever schedule you guys may have, it's really hard to start off your week in a good note. And my thought process behind this whole thing is, you know, it's a Monday, why not just go away for a good two to three hours, find something super close by, go on a hike, go on a run, do whatever you gotta do, to just set your expectations for the week. Mondays are just brutal sometimes, right? You just gotta come in with a good mindset. And for me, getting away like this after hours, just for a few you know, minutes of a hike, you know, this took me 20 minutes or 20, 30 minutes to get here, which isn't too bad, it's in my backyard. It's honestly super refreshing just because you pop out, get away from reality, just relax a bit, and then you go back in, you're recharged for the week. You know, you start off your week with a good mindset and that's how I like to approach things, you know? I'm all packed now. About to go up this little crevice here. Back to normal clothes. It is steep. Should be a good time though. All right, halfway there. Cicadas are pretty bad in Northern Virginia right now. And I'm so happy that they're not screaming and yelling here or else it would have been a nightmare. See you later, Scott's Run. All right made it back to the old faithful shadow cheers